Yo soy Máximo Batiul. I am Máximo Batiul. I am indigenous. I'm Maya. As a writer, I'm known as Karkoch Batiul. I'm an anthropologist. I'm a researcher. I'm a writer and a crazy thinker with a lot of dreams for good things in the world. I came across the situation in Santa Rita for the first time in 2009. It's my homeland, where we have the largest water reserve in the country. This is where they want to build a hydroelectric power plant there. It's fertile land. It's land where you feel the sweat of the people. People who work on the land every day for the well-being of the family. We've stopped the construction of the power plant. It's going to take the people's source of water, which is the only river where they can wash their clothes, from which they can drink, in which they can wash themselves, which they can use for agricultural production. This is an emblematic case. As in many countries of Latin America, in Guatemala, the armed forces, the public services, are used to protect foreign investment. In Santa Rita, the 16th and 17th of August 2014, 1,600 police officers came to the communities to displace them, to open the way so that the machines for the construction of the hydroelectric power plant could be brought in. They used tear gas. I was reminded of the years of the war. There was despair, a lack of feeling of love, mistrust, and there was a lot of fear. I blame the IFC, the DEG of Germany, the FMO. Those are institutions that are financing this hydroelectric project. They are responsible for not having listened to the people, for believing the companies, and for believing the government, and investing their money without checking. The taxes paid by German citizens of the Spaniards and the Dutch are not serving the well-being of the people, but rather develop projects that will only profit the company owners. Therefore, German citizens should raise their voice. What I'm doing now is to open the path for others and to tell everyone, all of the world, please listen to us. I believe I've been fighting for 30 years and I'm going to keep fighting, no matter what happens, because we're sick and tired of the fact that we never lived as brothers in our country.